Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about moving high resolution air. I know you, you all hear me harp all the time about resolution, resolution, resolution. Well, that's in a nutshell what we're trying to do here. We're trying to eliminate all this distortion in our way so we get to resolution because our gear today at any price point is good. I mean, I can't believe the quality level. I, it's been 15 years since I bought gear, I think. 10 maybe. And there's huge increases in the quality of uh, amplifiers, preamps, cables, uh, power cables, all kinds of cables. But rooms are horrible. You know, it's like we're still stuffing boxes full of building insulation. Come on, things have gotten a lot better too in the acoustical side of it. So we got to get resolution. We have two types of air in our rooms. We have the waves and the rays. Remember, the waves are low frequency pressure oscillating through the room, like ocean waves, okay? Rays, sunshine, straight line, shorter uh, energy, mids and highs. You got to match the treatment type to the problem. Diaphragmatic is the only low frequency treatment type that has the horsepower to meet the demands that these small rooms produce with low frequency modal issues, okay? The axial and tangential modes must be treated. They're all audible. You, you can hear them immediately, okay? Got to use a pressure-based technology to deal with pressure. That's diaphragmatic. Foam technology is ray energy technology. It moves with air over the, this whole studio here is lined with our foam. So as my voice strikes the foam, it's absorbed at the rate and level that the, the foam was designed to do, okay? Rate and level must match of the low frequency technology and the middle and high frequency technology. This is something people miss also. And you can't miss anything when you're dealing with resolution. So we gotta get the rate of absorption with our low frequency diaphragmatic absorption and the rate of absorption with our foam technology as linear and as smooth as we can. And we've done that. You can see the performance curves. It's, it's, it was difficult. I mean, getting low frequency rates of absorption to match foam rates. I mean, think about that. that that's pressure and, and ray energy, completely different energies, but yet we're, we're designing them to work the same, okay, at the same rate. Each room surface area is a different frequency and amplitude, each one. So we have to be specific and treat accordingly. Do we have a pressure problem, reflection problem? Noise floor, we gotta get that noise floor as low as possible. That's gonna increase the headroom, give us more range, dynamic range, give us more resolution. That's the name of the game. Room size and volume to match usage. We gotta do that right out of the gate, that's critical. If we don't, we're running uphill through the whole project. And we may not achieve our strategy. So we gotta start with a good footprint. Diffusion, great tool. Misunderstood, used incorrectly a lot of times. But once done right, woo, make your room sound twice as large and keep the same resolution that you had in the smaller room. So big, big, big tool. You wanna use it correctly. Moving air. Moving high resolution air. That's the name of the game. Getting rid of all these distortions. It's a long process. It's painstakingly slow. But you just have to decide how important resolution is to your music. And I'm going to tell you, it's probably the most important. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.